hi viewers please check out my youtube channel there is lots and lots of maya video tutorials for beginners intermediate and advanced tutorial so please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and learn professional tools and techniques that followed in maya okay whenever we use bridge we will face some problems so see here i want to bridge this mesh together so you will know uh, so select this mesh shift select this mesh go to mesh and choose combine so go to edge mode double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge so now i want to bridge so go to uh, edit mesh and choose bridge option box so i want to use linear and linear path and choose bridge see here uh, it will be twisted like this so it's it's wrong because of uh, when you are uh, when we have uh, duplicate some mesh to another side it will uh, flips the normals so i undo that so you want to check before you want to bridge so i undo all those things so see here the both object are separated so now you want to check the normals go to lighting and disable the two side lighting option so see here um, it in this mesh the lighting is in outer side but in this mesh the lighting is reversed so you want to clear out it's very easy select this object go to normals and choose reverse so that means the lighting will be reverse now i use bridge means it will bridge correctly so i select this mesh shift select this mesh go to mesh and choose combine so go to and select this edge double click on this edge shift double click on this edge so now go to edit mesh and choose bridge option box and choose linear path divisions one so now it's bridge correctly so these are the first uh, problems that we facing in bridge so now we see about bridge problem 2 so i want to bridge these two objects so i select this object shift select this object go to mesh and choose combine so whenever you select whole edge in this mesh and shift select whole mesh so whole edge in this mesh so go to edit mesh and choose bridge so i will uh, give some divisions to 0 and choose linear path so now i go to object mode press 3 so it will uh, bridge very clearly so go to shading and disable the wireframe on shader so you exactly see there is no problems but uh, so i when i press 1 so and go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so i i delete this faces here so whenever you using separate separate bridge so it cause some problems so see here i select only these three edge and shift select only these three edge go to edit mesh and choose bridge option box see here when i use linear path so same division zero so this three edges and this three edges are created by one bridge option so and select this one shift select this one shift select this one and select all other three edge in opposite side so and go to edit mesh and choose bridge option box do same thing linear and division 0 and give bridge so this also uh, same thing uh, are showing here so whenever you press 3 so it will face some uh, problems over here so see here it will be created some sharp edge so because of these three edges are created by one bridge and three these three edges are created by one bridge so why it will creates that uh, end as a sharpness so uh, so in this case you want to use like this so go to uh, one more so now i want to bridge this one so please use uh, upon polygon tool so go to edit mesh and choose upon polygon tool click here and click here 
and enter to release the tool so same thing click here click here and press enter so go to edit mesh and choose upon polygon tool click here and click here press enter so when i press 3 so it will not be created like that so mix these uh, both tools to create some separate separate bridges so it's very useful for uh, whenever you using organic model like character so these are the problems we facing in bridge option in this video we see about channel box tricks so it's very very useful for when you are adjusting some values in channel box so see here i want to scale this object using scale xyz in channel box i select scale xyz and use middle mouse in here and drag see here it will adjusting uh, 1.1 1.2 at single digit after one so i want to uh, adjust very very slight amount so these attributes are controlled by this manipulators of top side so see here i want to click twice here click once and click twice so same thing here click once and click twice and you want to bend this arrow so you want to bend this arrow so twice so cl click two times here two times here and single time here so now i use scale values see here it will adjust very very slight amount so it's very very useful when you are working in very small objects so it will works all channel box box attributes if you are using say example i select all this edge and i will use edit mesh and choose uh, bevel so see here i want to adjust the offset amount see here it will adjust very very slight amount so when you are using very big values like this so it will adjust see here very fast so i want to adjust very very slight amount so double click here so and you want to double click here and you want to bend this arrow with a single click so that means i when i adjust offset amount it will adjust very very minute so it's very useful for all channel box attributes you used so use this tricks and speed your works so whenever you uh, create any model so it will generate lot of history so because maya is running using nodes so when i add insert edge loop on this model so it will generate lot of histories here so after you complete uh, of anything you want to clear the history so because if you add more and more models in your scene so it will be hang out or uh, create some bug errors so or uh, this it, it will hang out and uh, close your scenes so we want to clear history so somebody a uh, lot of guys using each and every time uh, go to edit and delete by type history so see here it will create some inputs here so when i click here so it will clear so each and every time you will go here and take so it will take some times so if you want to reduce uh, your modeling timing you want to cr use some shortcuts somebody using uh, this custom shell shortcuts so it's very easy so you want to add any tools in this custom shell so for your um, so if you uh, add some tools for here's shortcuts so go to edit and choose delete by type and use control shift in keyboard and click here so it will automatically add it to your custom shell so you also create new shell using here so click here and create new shelf and rename is uh, your name or your tools so anything so it will be added to your cell sorry your so don't give space in maya so i will use underscore cell so it will create our custom shell so if you didn't want this click this button to delete 
your cell or right click here and choose delete shell and click ok so that means it will clear the shell so you will able to add any tools in this cell so click this cell and go to edit mesh or anything so use control shift and click it will automatically create that shortcuts so some guys using like this so I click this mesh so it has lot of input history so when I click here it will clear that history so uh, it's also uh, one method so another one way to create uh, delete the history is using shortcut so many of them not show not known about it so it's very simple select this mesh and use alt plus shift plus d so see here it will clear the history so i select this plate for your uh, weaving purpose see here now i have this uh, lot of history so i use alt plus shift plus d so it will clear my history so utilize this techniques for your project and save lot of time in this video we see about renaming tricks so if you are working production so your outliner must be neat and clean so i will open my outliner so see here we have lot of object in outliner so i want to rename see here in front face front side i have the dollars uh, dollar chain so i will double click on outliner so and rename as dollar underscore chain so it's very easy because it's a single object but i have lot of object on similar names so i want to rename it uh, one time so go to outliner select the first shape and shift select the lost shape of uh, same objects so go over in here so click this little arrow here and choose rename so go to here and rename as chain underscore balls so underscore one and press enter so see here it will automatically rename so up to uh, the chain groups so it's a very easy method to rename the multiple objects of your project use this techniques and uh, speed up your works in this video we see about selection tricks so it's very very useful for uh, selecting a face or vertex or a edge very easily so some of the guys doing uh, each and every face so to select like this so it's waste of time so we follow some tricks so first of all you uh, know about uh, so selection method so go to object mode so you want to convert this as a vertex so press f9 so that means it will convert that as a vertex mode so we want to switch as uh, edge mode so press f10 in keyboard so that means it will switch as a edge mode see here so if you want to convert as a, a face mode press f11 so if you press f12 so it's a uv mode so these are the uh, modes we have so we combine uh, these techniques to select a certain area so see here uh, i will press f9 in keyboard to change the vertex mode vertex mode select the middle vertex so uh, i want to select this uh, face similar face of this vertex so that means uh, press control and f11 so that means the vertex will be convert as a face see here so and you also able to grow the selection using shift to plus greater than symbol to grow the selection so shift to plus uh, less than symbol to shrink the selection so like this so you also use any uh, mode to any mode using control see here I will press uh, F10 to go edge mode so I double click on this edge so when I uh, 
also able to convert this edge as a vertex so press ctrl and f9 so that means it will the edge will be convert as a vertex and you also use shift to plus greater than symbol to grow the selection so these are the ways to switch any mode to any mode so don't select each and every face uh, in every time so use this methods to select easily and save lot of time